Hey, how'd the Mitchum go? Um, it went pretty good. Yeah, for some weird reason, I heard the average was like 65, which is so weird because how do people even get that low? I mean, we had a cheat sheet and everything, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, so I didn't even have that much time to study, honestly speaking. I was like busy applying for an RA position over the weekend. Yeah, me too, actually. So, uh, are you free now? Do you want to like go grab some food to eat or? Um, I actually have work, so I'm gonna go. Bye. Oh, okay, see ya. Um, I think that most of us have probably felt these feelings, um, especially in a, in a very individualistic society where we're always being like, ranked, our, our grades are being ranked compared to our peers, and, you know, we're constantly being compared to other people. Your self-worth is determined quite directly by your achievements. It's so easy to compare yourself to other people when you don't fully know what is going on in their lives, of course, and everyone always says that you see everyone's highlights real well, you see your own backstage drama, but of course that's easier said than done to really think about that. So in first year, I wanted to get involved because I was very involved in high school and leadership things. So I joined uh, the first year committee uh, for Science Undergrad Society and um, I definitely felt intimidated by my peers because there was about uh, 30 other kids in the committee and when they're all introducing themselves to each other, they're saying like, oh, I'm from IB, I'm in Science 1, I'm uh, the, the first year rep for this thing, I'm like involved with this club and it seemed like everyone was super involved, was like really a part of the university and I didn't really know what I was doing there. I'd always see my friends doing these great things, joining labs, getting into co-op and doing these great things with their lives and for me I'd always be sitting on the sidelines and I wouldn't really be doing the same necessarily great things as they were. It was really easy to get caught up in other people's success and goals and kind of see those as how I should be structuring my desires and dreams. For the first full semester I felt really intimidated. I didn't want to join any of the events where I felt like I was I was blocking myself. I can see that now in hindsight that it was just myself. And it always kind of took a toll on my confidence and then it kind of brought down my academics and in a way I didn't want to socialize with my friends as much because in my mind there were these great it's super intelligent people. I was like oh well, I'm just kind of doing my own thing, being like a nerd and studying or whatever. I guess I just started to stop comparing myself to others, and I kind of realized that everyone starts off roughly at the same place in life. I started really reflecting on when I was feeling really low on myself and when I was comparing myself to others. Withdrew for a bit, wrote out what I wanted, made a list of what was important to me, kind of restructured my approach to school based on that. Like, it's perfectly fine to be self-critical, but you can't let it get to your head. As long as you're being constructive with your criticism and not using your criticism to bring yourself down, it's perfectly fine to be self-critical. The person, or the people I admired or compared myself to, they were once in my position before. You are more than your grades. You are more than... You are more than the, the product of your efforts. You are a whole human being, and it's important that you keep that in mind at all times. Yes, you may fail in this one endeavor, you may fail in another, but that doesn't mean that you are a failure. Most of us are starting university like with a clean slate, and most of us are doing a lot of these things for the first time. You can look at others, and you can see their success, and you can be kind of intimidated by it, or you know, feel that you're not doing enough. But I feel like if you look at others and understand what they're doing, how they're doing it, you can actually approach them very comfortably and ask, hey, I'm actually really impressed by what you're doing. Could you please show me how you do it? There is no bigger compliment than telling somebody that, hey, I love the way you're doing something. I want to do it the same way. Could you show me your art form, kind of? How do you network? How do you, how do, you do this? How do you get an internship? How do you do this and that? I started focusing on the small things that I could do in order to be where I wanted to be. And I made the decision to surround myself in those communities that were more positive for me and that did feel better at the end of the day. It's okay to not be the best at everything all the time and that you're still learning and that you're still, you know, most of us are still quite young and that we've got time to grow. I'm here for myself, not for other people, and that really what they do doesn't, shouldn't really affect me as much as I was letting it. So I think it really just comes down to 
pushing yourself into like boundaries, past boundaries, um, even if it makes you kind of uncomfortable, you just need to go for it and ignore the fact that you, everyone else seems better than you. Well, they're doing all these great things. Maybe, maybe it's time for me to try to put myself out there and try to make myself just as awesome as them. Whatever job you get in the end, it doesn't matter how you get there, just as long as um, you're enjoying your your time at UBC and towards your your end goal. You always can pick yourself up. You always do more. You can try harder. You reach your efforts, and you keep pushing. Eventually, eventually, you succeed. You're not comparing yourself to others. You're comparing yourself to what you were doing yesterday. And as long as you feel like you're improving yourself from yesterday, then you're successful, aren't you? I think in most cases, most people are their own worst critic. I know a lot of the times I am and uh, always replaying things that I've done or said in my mind again and, and trying to figure out if that was whether I put my best foot forward or not. And I think that's a natural thing for people to experience. And I don't think that's a bad thing. Uh, as long as uh, you're not so critical of yourself uh, that you're not giving yourself a chance to improve. And so being critical and looking for perfection in one's life and what they do is fine as long as you have the understanding that we're always kind of striving for, for perfection and not quite getting there. And so if you can be at peace with that and always striving to be better, always striving to improve, then it's okay to be a critic of yourself um, just to always try to keep that in context and knowing that other people are experiencing the same thing.